What's going on, everyone? I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, I got another cool one for you. You guys are going to love this. This is from the far side of the moon. We're going back there. That's right. One of my subs, Paul Marshall, sent me this photo and says, Hey, Chris, what do you think of this photo here? First of all, it's in full color, which is in itself is crazy, right? Because you usually see just black and white of the moon. Right? But this is a photo of Chang'e 4 and the U-2-2 rover. Now, the rover... And I'm going to show you this now. This is pretty cool. This is of the U-2-2 rover taking a look or taking a photo of the Chang'e 4 or Chang 4, depending on how they pronounce it, on the lunar surface. Now, I want to show you that there's so much stuff being hidden in here. Um, and let me just backtrack just a little bit. Paul says to me, hey, Chris, I've done my own enhancements on it, but I'm going to hold off on showing you. Um, I want to see what you come up with. And I'm glad he uh, gave me this photo to actually analyze. So thank you, Paul, for that. I appreciate that. Um, I, I got back to him, but he didn't get back to me uh, soon enough. I was just happy to want to get this out. But here's the thing. If he comes out with uh, a lot better enhancements than mine and sees something I didn't, I'm going to bring you his work as well. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you not only this proof that this is being absolutely messed around with, this photo has been doctored up and manipulated and... Oh my God, white it out, you name it, right? What's crazy about this, I can see these things in the photo without doing the thing to it. Now, just by looking at this, you can see this something right here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this because I want you guys to see this. How far can we go in? That's 300%. You can see it up here when I first click on it. But we're not going to go too crazy. I'll tell you why. I don't want this so bad that you can't see it at all. Right here, there's an object sitting right there, right? We're going to go over to here. There's something right here almost squared off over here there's something that's pretty interesting in this you can see where they've actually done it there's a white piece right here sticking out right there right guys can use your magnifiers if you want pause the video right here this object right here you can see right here to here they literally have blurred it out so you can't see the whole object right there's something right here and something that's doing this right here you can just see the edge of it right there see that there's like a little bit more white and you can see the shape of it going like this here See that? But you may say, well, Chris, how are you seeing this? Well, at first I didn't until I just said, well, you know, let me see if I can just eyeball this thing without doing anything to it yet. But when I enhanced it, that's when I was like, had that holy crap moment. Yeah, these guys are hiding something on this on this moon, man. And it's nothing to do with Luna's just regular rocks, man. It's got nothing to do with sand. It's got nothing to do with that crap. Let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to show you here. This is the photo op. And just to, just to, and just to go back real quick, you can see it right here. The address is right here at the top in the address bar. You guys will get the link as always. So let's jump back into this. Now, the first thing I tried to do was to, like I said, try to enhance this thing just a little bit and try to pop these. But what we're going to do is we're just going to do a simple enhancement and watch what happens. Everything's going to turn dark and you can see a lot more brighter areas. Now, watch this. Okay. The whole idea was this is to bring anything that's, you can do it two ways. Here's the thing. You can do it two ways. You can either try to bring all the white pots out by enhancing those white areas, or you could bring out the darker areas in between all of these objects. So either way you're looking, you're bringing out these objects in one way or another, right? You're either bringing out the white and popping them out more, or you're bringing out the, the blackness or the darkness in between, meaning the contrasted areas, right? The darker contrasted areas. So I did this first, and just right off the bat, guys, look at this. Here's that item I was telling you about, and I'm going to show you this a lot better. See it right there? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. See that? You can see that there. The item is there. This item over here I told you about. See this? This one over here. Can you see that? I'm going to zoom in just a hair bit more. Well, let's go ahead and tap on that. See that right there? You can see this white right here white over here and it literally looks like it goes inside like in other words it goes up like this and goes into this other piece but they've taken this part out and this part out to try to block out what the object really is right now take note of this there's a square piece in this but here's what's crazy about it let me do this again i'm going to just do it straight nice crisp 90 degree angle goes across like this now you would think it stops right there it does not the reason why it does not is because there's a manipulation right here. You can see it all in between here. So the rest of this is kind of blocked out, but it is more of a square or rectangular piece. All right, let's keep going. 
because there's something that does this, and I can't quite make it out, but it literally does this, or it completely goes down. At least that's the way I thought when I first seen it. I'll show you the full enhancement in a second. So let me back back out. And again, you can see like little bits and pieces that are actually peeking through the manipulation. Now, let me jump back out of that. Now let's go back to the enhancement I did. Watch this. I was trying to take different steps to try to bring these things out as much as possible without distorting it too badly, right? Let's jump into this. Again, here's that object. That doesn't look like a simple rock there, guys. Look at that. It literally does this. It almost looks like it has some kind of oval opening type thing right here. But anyway, even if it doesn't, it goes like this, back up and around. Now, here's the other pot right there, again, with these little pieces on it. And again, it looks more of a square here, right? And there's more pieces. I'm going to show you that. I'm going to lighten this up, this whole thing up as well. So you'll see the whole object is like this instead of like that. And we've got this other item doing this. Okay, and look at this thing. I mean, it is as clear as a bell. Look at this. Okay, so let's keep going with this. Now we're going to bring it down to black plate. Black plate is basically the raw photo, right? So let's do this and see what we can come up with. So this is the black plate here, but that's not how it's supposed to be seen. Let me show you exactly how we do that. Put it in black plate here, and now, okay, we tried a different way. Trying to get everything out of this photo we can, and this is just by just doing a little bit of checking out the raw parts of the photo. And you can see they tried to cover this up. You can see it more here over to here, and you can just see a little bit of that right there, the de better detail. See that? Right there. Okay. I've showed you the other pieces there. See that? All right. Now, let's go back into, let's go to the other snapshot five I've got. Okay. Now I'm starting to bring this out a little bit better. Okay. Now, keep in mind, you're not going to see this stuff crystal clear. Why? Because it's all being covered up to begin with. You know, anybody can go like this. Oh, okay, this is a mountain. So, therefore, let's go like this. Whee! Okay, up, 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 up. And manipulate the whole thing. And then what they do is they just put like a, like a haze all over the thing. So, you can't see anything that's got any individuality. When in actual fact, there's literally objects laying all over the place. And I'm sure it's not just in this one area. It's probably all over the place, right? Okay, so let's get back into this. So now, this is where we got up to. And you can see this item just a little bit better. Um, it's not going to be in yellow now because I'm in a raw plate, so you're not going to see that. It's just going to be white. There's another object sitting right here very vaguely, but you can see it. I want to tell you why. I wanna, actually, I want to I wanna show you why it's so hard to bring this stuff out in a second. But there's something right here. See this pot I was telling you about right there? It literally keeps going. But there's something right here. And what has this jagged looking stuff right there. See that? But there's another item sitting right here. And this item right here. So what I tried to do is get rid of it and blast through that crap that was sitting on top of this. Like that. See it? Where they actually went like this and just took it all the way out. Okay, to give you an idea of what it would look like as a whole, here's another object. Here's a, you can see where they've actually went around it. This is this is um, funny as hell. Right here, they literally went around these objects but blurred the rest of it. Look at it all. Look at the way that's that's blurred out. Look at it. That's not even the half of it. Wait until you guys see the actual manipulation done to this photo. All right, so now let's go into, this is the full enhancement right here. And now you can see there's so much more in this photo. Oh, my God. This is the actual item you can see now, right there. Items right here. Here's the other one, too. I don't know if you guys seen this. Again, this part right here going like this. And then there's something going down like this. You can see, boom, almost 90 degree angle. Whatever the hell these things are, there's something in, in this whole area. And it's all pieces or things laying on the surface. It's not a hillside, guys. It's not a hillside. You notice how this looks right here? Like they literally went over it, put like a, I don't know how, they, what they even, how to explain the way they're doing it or what the technical term for this is, but they take everything. 
uh, like a photo stacking going on, and then you just put it on over this, so it blocks out the actual individuality of these things. So it is tough to get this stuff out. Now, I'm going to show you this in, in cyan plate, another raw plate. Watch this. Whoops. Go like this. We're going to go into cyan plate here. Now, do you see the manipulation now? Look at the lines here. Look at this. Multiple levels of manipulation. You can see these things overlaying each other. Look at this. One. Of course, I'm not doing it straight. Two. But check this out. Let me show you this up close. And then I'm going to make it even darker so you can see it even better. Multiple levels of overlaying. Look at this. This is supposed to be straight down. That's why I said it's not too straight. But anyway, it goes like this. Multiple levels stacked on top of each other. They're stacking these photos. At least that's the way it appears to me. Now, let me just back out of this. I want you to see the overall. Because look at that. Oh, my God. It's it's astounding how much they're taking out of this photo. Let me show you this in, in cyan plate. Even darker. Look at the manipulation going on in this photo. Look at this trash right here. Literally taking these pieces right out. You know, you should not see... Okay, you should not see any compression marks, not zoomed out like this. You'll see them up close. You will not see this like this. The information has been completely covered up, redacted, removed, call it what you will. It's been taken out. And guess what? If you zoom into this, you can see why. Let me show you this plate right here, this, this area right here. This is the reason why you can barely see this, because guess what? Right here, they've got more manipulation going right over it. Look at the size of these things right here. They're literally taking this stuff out of the photo. Literally covering the information up. Look at this. Multiple layers of obfuscation, photo stacking to get rid of these things in the actual photo. You can see it as blatantly as can be. Now this right here, you can see this outside on the left-hand side. This is basically the way the camera was taking the photo. So you're going to have that. That makes sense to me. You're going to have this just like this area here on this side. See it? Because if you look at the overall, right, picture yourself taking the actual photo on both sides. That's the way it's taking the actual photo. Okay. But the rest of this, and look how zoomed out I am. You should not see these squares like this. You should not see this at all. None of these. You should not see those squares in here at all. Why? multi-layered obfuscation and just a way to cover this stuff up. So if you get frustrated saying, well, how come you never see anything real clear? You'll understand why now. It's exactly the reason why. And you can see it multiple how they did that. See that? Now, you would never see that by looking at the photo normally. And you can see these things kind of overlay each other. Check the way this whole section is right here. Look at the way these photos, see how it's like, it seems like normal photo. You can see where they put it on just a little light right here, this section right here, and then it got a whole lot darker right here. And guess what? Where is it? Right over that anomaly right there. See that? See that? I'm just going to show you that way and check it out. These objects are in fact there. They are lying to the public. Here it is, man. Here's the stuff right here. You can see, again, this is weird because I was looking at this earlier. Again, some pieces laying here. There's multiple things. Look at this. I am not. I don't even know what they are, guys. I have no clue. Couldn't tell you. Is it part of a craft? They crash there, and it's just in pieces laying there. Or, or is it multiple things just laying there? Either way, crash or not, whatever this thing is, or these things are, it's being hidden in the photo. They're not up there to look at rocks. They're not up there. Think about it. You know, I said this before on the live on the live chat, the hangout, where I said, think about it, man. I mean, if you're going to hide something, you know, who's going to be able to see what you're doing on the other side of the moon? Think about it. There isn't an astronomer out there that's going to be able to see what's going on on the other side of the moon. Is it possible that if this is, in fact, alien stuff, alien junk, whatever it may be, is it possible that they thought of the same thing? Meaning, let's keep ourselves hidden from that planet we're orbiting. 
and this way nobody see us. It's perfect. If you were to come back, let's say you didn't want to be seen, and you had to go back to the moon, well, you take the long way around, and then come from behind it, nobody will see you. Think about it. Makes perfect sense, as far as I'm concerned. And that's the best way to hide yourself. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this back into cyan plate. And there you go. This, this is the reason why you can't see this stuff clear, guys. There it is. Blatant manipulation. They are there to check out what's on this moon. And this is the reason why I got this little rover so I can actually go up to it and get close to it and everything else. This is the reason why. Look at this multi-layered. And sorry, guys, I'm using I can't use any other color but this. Actually, I should be able to use the black. It might be make it a little bit better. Okay. You can see that a little bit better right here. There's, there's certain levels of this that they're actually using to take this stuff out. You can see some of it's not so bad here, but most of that, because I, I don't even care about the edge of this. This is, like I said, this to me is the way the camera took the photo, and it's its, it's, its field of view. So that I don't care about. But again, you can see these here, this multiple obfuscation. The way that, look at right here, it's lighter. And over to this side, this is lighter right here, and over here gets much heavier. And again, it just happened to be right over this anomaly. One of the anomalies is right there. What better way to do it than to cover it up like that? It's perfect. And most of it is. Look at how it got heavy here. Right here. And this is that object we just saw earlier, right here. They literally did everything they could to take it out. Right there is that object. And you see it was right there. Right there. And the whole object is like that. But they literally went over it. And you can see it. Right there. So they're doing everything they can to hide what's in these photos. And clearly, you know, they're doing a great job of it. Because you would never know it by doing this. If I was to just look at this photo like this. Never think nothing of it. But... See it right there? Never think nothing of it. Just go, oh, eh, some lighter rocks in the background. Yeah, that's kind of cool. But you can just look at the photo. How can there be, like, really virtually no detail in this photo? You know? And I'm even thinking that this object, and I call it an object, I'm actually believing, or starting to believe, that that's fake. And they just put it there just to make it look good and say, oh, you know, everybody will focus on this craft, on the Chang'e 4, as opposed to what's in the background. Think about it. What's the first thing you're going to look at? Uh, the lander itself. You're going to eyeball that and you're going to go, oh, wow, yeah, they're on the moon. You're not even going to scrutinize it. Well, like I said, when you start getting into this thing, like I said, it's, you can do it two ways. You can you can use the uh, actual right here. You can go right here, just to show you guys again. You can use the dodge tool, right, and just go over the areas. The problem is it's already been washed. So in this case, it would not work. See how it's already been washed? So the, what do you do? You try to bring back the contrast that is in between said objects. So in other words, if most of them are lighter color, than the ground, then you should be able to bring the ground that's all the way around these objects out. Well, that's what we did. And this is the reason why you get these things and you start to see the objects because of darkness around them. But yet, we can bring them out. You just got to work at it and you'll be able to get it out. And I went around this a little bit more with like a little bit of black burned it a little bit so you can see the better shape of it. See it? You can still see the shape regardless, right? See it? Right there without doing it. You can still see the shape of it. Here it is right there. That's not doing anything. But again, this is in color now with the cyan plate. But look at the, see the, the colors? That is the difference in layering of this manipulation, the density of it, if you will. See that? Look how much they laid it on thick. Look at it. You've got everywhere from a little bit of greens to the oranges. And I believe the oranges are the overlays, the extra overlay of manipulation. And you can see that right there just by looking at this. Look at this. Look at the colors in it. And you can see where they really haven't done it, right here. Why? There's nothing really of any value there. This is the reason why. And of course, this is I think this is a field of view right here on the camera. So you can't go by that. But as far as this here, you can see where they really laid this stuff on. The orange is the actual thicker manipulation. And if you think about it, where are most of these items? Right there. Right there. You guys give me your thoughts. I'm going to jump on out of this. Again, I wish they would just come out, show us the truth, and be done with it. And I know you guys agree, and I, I can understand your frustration because I got it too. 
Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off of this. i got some more crazy things coming up, so stay tuned for that. I've got some uh, Giga Pans coming up. Um, and then we're just going to search through and see a bunch of these so-called rocks and things that clearly stick out. They're definitely anomalous, right? And i uh, got some other cool things. And I've actually got something for Bruce, if he can get in touch with me, because I took a little bit of his screenshot and enhanced it. And guess what? Full-blown city right there in his face. And I'll explain a little bit more. Hopefully, we can get together and we'll show, I'll show it to him because I think even he will be blown away. He literally just recorded a, a city laying right there in front of his face. Anyway, guys, give me your take on it, man. Drop your comments and your thoughts below. As always, you guys get the last say. Like and please share this video. It's got to be out. It's got to get out. That's the only way it's going to get out because now, again, YouTube is limiting how much videos like mine can be shown. This is the reason why a lot of times you don't see the suggested uh, sidebar on the right-hand side of you, YouTube. Wonder why. They don't want this stuff to get out, guys. It's just one of the videos they just don't want to see get out. With your help, we can do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you on the flip side.